Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers the initial administration steps for configuring a CM SIP trunk. After setting up an SSH session to your CM, the first step in administering a SIP trunk is to provision a node name for the far end. This is done via the change node names IP command. Once in the form, navigate to an open field, enter the name of the node name, and then the IP address associated with the destination. You will then hit F3 to submit the form. The next step is to add a signaling group. Use the add signaling group command followed by the signaling group number, in this case 11. The group type must be changed to SIP. The next field is transport method. The default value is TLS. The choices you have are TCP and TLS. The setting must match the far end's requirements. Go to the near end node name field Enter the node name PROCR to define the local CM SIP interface. In the far end node name field, enter the node name created previously. For the far end domain field, enter the domain or IP address required by the destination. Submit the form. The last step for the basic configuration is to add a trunk group using the add trunk group command. We are administering trunk group 11. Once in the form, the group type is changed to SIP. You must also enter a valid trunk access code or TAC. In the service type field, enter public network when going to a service provider. Enter signaling group 11 previously defined and the number of provisioned members. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.